Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of Glory Hunter with Nice. Today we reach the French Cup final as we take on relegated Lyon. As we look to win this back to back, we won it last season under the previous manager. Can I do it again? Let's find out. But before we do that, we have one result to run through against La Havre. Let's do it. So after securing Champions League football last time around, we secured second place in the table. A comfortable win over La Havre. Rigo, Luis, and Seco with the goal. The only issue we had, Rigo is now injured. He is out for up to six weeks, so he will not play today. And Destiny Dogi picked up too many yellow cards in a short space of time. And he is suspended as well. So here's how it all shook out in the end. PSG, we knew, were the champions. There's us in second place on 65. It was fairly close in the end. Ren finished on 64. Troyes finished on 64 as well. 59 for Marseille. 58 for Lund. 56 for Toulouse. They beat Lille into seventh place. And the winner of today's competition will affect them. If we win, they will qualify for the Conference League and Lens will bump bumped up one. If we don't, then Lyon will take the place in Europe next season. They will be playing in the second division next season as well. 20 points for them. Bordeaux go with them on 24. Then there's a playoff between Brest and Bastia for the final relegation spot. The Havre survive by one goal in the end it was very very close for them so yeah we concentrate on the french cup today leon they will have their disappointment about being relegated will they bounce back today let's find out so here are the two starting lineups of avb's leon star with two garling goal johnson Saar, constant on tierney Goulamon, adele croquette Alcia Namasso with Van Dieven leading the line for him. Remember him from in today's as we start with a Brovic in goal. Van der Breet, Silla, Topo, Scali, Diop, Miramon, Luis, Carboni, Yamaz with Mouani leading the line. Now, an unpopular opinion amongst Tottenham fans. I quite liked Andre Villas Boas back in the day. He was a breath of fresh air. The trouble was when we got beat, we got battered. And that's why he lost his job. He was a good manager. I was excited. It's probably one of the few managers I was excited we got in. But alas, his time was short. Now, can we win this? Come on, we need to tick this one off. Obviously, Nice are the holders of the competition. Can we go back to back? You would fancy it today. Leon relegated. 20 points on the board. But there's no pressure on them, really. All the pressure is on us. To perform and hopefully we do into mirror mum finds Luis who finds Scally we will be seeing a lot more of Mr Scally he will be back for a second season barring a minor miracle of it all falling apart with the negotiations of his new contract Carboni trying to get the header on goal and it's a save from the goalkeeper just about free kick and it's going to be Diop to take it towards the back stick goalkeeper pats it away big paw to that, Luis finds Topo into Scali. Onto Luis again. Goes through the gap. Yamaz onto Mawani off the bar. Good save for the goalkeeper. And Carboni's hit the outside of the post. Should have probably scored. That's what we need. Another free kick for us. D up from a little bit further out. Can he find a teammate? Ball towards the back stick. Looking for Luis. He gets the header on goal. Goalkeeper pats it down. It's a good save and a good block behind. It's only a matter of time, isn't it? At the Stade de France. Hugo picking it up but giving it away to Luis. Driving forward onto Mawani. Through the gap. Finds Carboni. Will he get a shot away? Finds Diop instead. Tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. Almost too many cooks there. Too many options. They're defending the corners pretty well, Leon, so far. Diop with it. Have another go. Swings it in. Will he find anybody? No, he doesn't find anybody again. Carboni plays it back into Diop. Onside. But then gives it away. Fantastic. Luis on the turn. Little pirouette. Straight through the gap. There we go. Diop out to Yalmaz. Got Scali on the overlap. 
But Yamaz is going on his own at the moment. And he's trying to fall into the centre. He'll find Diop. Gets the shot away. Ambitious effort. Miramon will pick it up. Drives into the space. Van der Breek. Go through. Go low. Oh. Missed the opportunity to do it. Goes back into Carboni instead. Nobody on the edge of the box. And he plays it straight to a Leon player. Been a bit like that so far though. Had options, just picking the wrong one at times. Ball towards the back stick. Now Carboni's got plenty of space. He does take it down. Plays it back into Van der Breek. On to Carboni. There we go. His first goal on a live com. And we finally break Leon down. We finally picked the right option. And we lead after 32 minutes. It has been coming since the start. And we are thankfully in front at last. Good ball back to him. And he lashes it into the net. That's a good goal. Third of the season for him. Third for us. Thank goodness he has started to find his feet. Ball picked up by Konsanonsu. Plays it forward. But is he going to lose out to Van Breek? Of course he is. He's going to keep hold of Van Der Breek. Barring a disaster of someone coming in with an insane amount of money. He's been very good. Scally. Plays it through to Mwani. He's onside. Finds the net. That's two. That's probably game over. Oh, VAR. Hang on. Hold the phone. Might have moved fractionally early. I mean, it's 33. How much early can he move? It has been disallowed. Damn technology. Get rid of the bloody thing. Honestly. What's the matter with you? Carboni. Plays it in to the far post looking for Yalmaz he doesn't rise at the far post he doesn't jump Yalmaz sometimes Scally inside the penalty oh that's going to be a free kick on the edge of the box that is not a penalty you don't even need to check it honestly needs to lead by a goal to nil at half time pure domination at the break just got to back it up with a second goal and to be fair we look like the team they're going to score the next goal and possibly the next one after that Carboni Picking it up on the right-hand side. His goal separates the sides. Finds Van der Breet. Plays it in early. Looking for Yalmaz. This time he gets the header in, but it's headed away by the defender. Free kick. It's going to be Carboni into Diop. Through into Silla. Go low across the penalty area. No, he goes back into Carboni instead. Diop picks it up inside the penalty area. Gets the shot away. Good save from the goalkeeper. Had to tip that round the post. That was going in the far corner. As Leon are clinging on for dear life here. Another goal early in the second half. And it might be three or four. Ball into the area. Headed up rather than out. Cleared away. No man down inside the penalty area. And a free kick given. Right. Let's have a look at a couple of changes. Shall we? Yalmaz. Yep. I agree. It's going to have to come off. It's not going to be Minten to come on for him. It's going to be Inseco to come on for him. And we're going to take off Miramont and bring on Keita. Just need to keep this going. Find this second goal and finish them off. Because I think a second one would do it. Because they've done nothing. Goalkeeper has been a mere spectator. Luis driving forward from midfield. Onto Van der Breet. On towards Carboni. Diop. Through to Carboni again. Mawani is still onside. Can he find a ball through to him? He's going to go around the outside and lose out in the end. Namazzo comes back. To help out his defence. And it's long down the field. But it's going to be fielded pretty easily by Silla. Yep. Van der Breek. Go on. Drive forward. Swings it in early. Looking for Mawani. I mean, it's going to be a good header from there. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. Easily done. Danny Olmo is on. Oh, Danny. We might have to rescue him from League 2. I mean, he's probably about 33 now. But, yeah, we'll see. Ball picked up in midfield. Keita onto Mawani. Driving forward. Hasn't got the pace to go on his own. So Carboni helps him out. Finds Van der Breek through. Tarantini picks it up. Surprised he's not injured. Way. Olmo into Van Dieven. On towards Alcia. Maybe I've been a little bit too relaxed. Because here come Leon. Will they get a shot away? Ball towards the back stick. Headed towards goal. Lavrovic. Has something to do. Right, let's have a look at another couple of changes, shall we? So we are going to bring Miten on for probably his last appearance for the club before we let him go. Maybe. We're going to take Mawani off. Stick him out on the right-hand side. 
Carboni will go down the centre. We're going to take Luis off as well, and we're going to bring on Julian. Some changes need to be made. Not really. They're all being pretty average at the back, which is fine. No one's having a stinker. Carboni with the corner. Someone's making a late dash into the penalty area. And Carboni swings that ball in and headed over by Cobbo. It looks like one is going to be... Ooh, maybe not. Free kick to Leon. Danny Almo with it. Just about to say, it looks like one might be enough. One won't be enough. Oh, the flag has gone up. Are they going to be denied, Leon? Velasco, has he gone early? We've had one goal ruled out for VAR. We've had another one ruled out. Good. This one, at least. I think he went miles early, did he? No, oh, he was a yard or two offside, isn't he? Good finish, though. Just going to say, one's probably going to be enough. As Tony Martinez comes on for the final few minutes. Free kick to Leon. Goes long down the field. Win the header. Do with Keita. Cup only picks it up in the centre. Plays it onto Miten. Back into Carboni, onto Diop. Needs a runner. And Olmo comes back and defends that pretty well, to be fair to him. And they're going to make a mistake from the kick out. It's a little stab forward and it's straight to Keita. On towards Nsiko. Round the outside. Plenty of bodies in the box, but behind for a corner. At the right end of the field from our perspective, though. Tini into Tandist. Onto Saar. It is now or never for Leon. Definitely. Martinez. Oh. I mean, two people went down there. I'm not sure why. Needless free kick given away. The goalkeeper's gone forward for three added minutes that are to come. Is Danny Olmo going to deliver a decent ball into the box? You would expect him to, but it's a bit short. And it's gone all the way through in the end. Fiorentini with the throw. Leon pushing to the last. To be fair... They've done better than I thought they would. And they've got the equaliser. We're going to extra time. Well, I did not expect that. That's annoying. We have had so many chances today. And we haven't finished them off. Leon, grab a late equaliser. Alcia with the goal. And yep, straight to extra time. The man sitting on nothing there, I think. I mean, look at that. It should be all over. That's so annoying. Let it slip away. Get it done in extra time. So we've got an extra substitution to use now. Trouble is, we've not got any players ready to bring on. And so we're going to take... We're going to bring on Teze, are we? On to the right? Yeah, we're going to bring Teze on to the right. Almost playing through to Van Dieven. Leon tail up now, definitely. Alcia sends the ball in behind for a corner. It's going to be Teze with a throw deep inside Leon territory. Miten has given the ball away. Keita will pick it up. Plays it on to Julien. Keita again. Into Teze. Nice turn around the corner. Can we find a ball into the centre? He can find Miten. He finds Julien. Teze. Into Diop. Diop's down inside the penalty area. That is going to be a penalty. VAR have been involved quite a lot in the game. As we are appealing for it. I mean, the game should already be over, right? But we have the chance to go back in front. Diop with the chance to put us in front at the start of extra time. Can he score? Yes, he can. Panenka? I mean, it was slow motion. But it'll do. It's a little chip down the centre. And I don't like those because it travels. I mean, the replay will be even slower. But yeah, it's a little chip down the centre. Tasty. Goalkeeper sends it long down the field. Martinez trying to win the header. Silla not having any of it. Carboni. Round the corner for Miten. Onto Diop. Through to Teze. Driving towards the penalty area. Still driving. Goes towards the back post. Looking for Carboni. Save. No. Side netting. Right. One more change to make as Mads Rosalev comes onto the field. And we're going to bring on Amuro. For the final 15 minutes of extra time. Let's get this done. Don't want penalties. Oh, 
Callie gives it away. And Seiko with the foul. Floppy start to extra time two. Leon are looking for goals. You would imagine they would do at this point. Where they leave gaps at the back. You would think they would as well. As Diop picks it up in the centre. Gets the shot away. Oh, it's only just gone wide. It's a deflection off of Danny Olmo. That takes it behind. Goalkeeper rooted to the spot. And Diop has the chance from the corner. Take your time. Leon are not done. By any stretch of the imagination. They scored one late in normal time. Casquette with the shot. Good save from the goalkeeper. I mean... Does it deserve to go to penalties? Probably not at this point. But we'll see. Danny Olmo with the corner. I'm on the edge of my seat. I hope you are as well. And he's headed back into Danny Olmo. The guest step. On towards Rosalev. Good block from Julian. Saar. Trying to drive through. And Seiko get rid of the damn thing. There we go. Right. We look like we've finally seen Leon off. We are into the final minute. Hopefully this is enough. Kieran Tierney. Up the line. Is it going to go? It's going to go out of play. And that will be it. I'm sure of it now. Leon's resistance finally broken. Goodness me. Take your time. And then just kick it into the stands. I really don't care at this point. Do we even restart play? No, we won't. Nice win. The French Cup. It was harder than it probably should have been. But here they come. Silla leads the line. And we have one more trophy in the bag. Which means we have one more to claim in the French title. And Silla is going to get his hands on the French Cup. And I'm not going to do the countdown because I always get it wrong. Up it goes. Come on. Oh, hey, there we go. The ticker tape, red and black all over. As Nice win the French Cup. So, the match stats, I mean, we dominated the game. We should have won it in normal time. They took it to extra time. D up from the penalty spot. Little cheeky chip towards goal. And that's the French Cup done. So, that does mean to lose qualify for the conference league next season congratulations to them long get bumped up one into the europa league so now it is all about bridging the gap at the top 19 points at the end of the season it's gonna be a tough ask but we have the summer to sort things out as we get ready to challenge paris saint germain properly next time around Let's see what we can do in the summer. So we'll check out the summer window next time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.